Hi, Brent Tech here. We tech is made simple. So yesterday on the 8th of December 2021, Microsoft rolled out the latest dev channel build 22518 to insiders in the insider program with a couple of new features. And in this video, I'm just going to take a quick look at two of the main features that rolled out in that latest build. And the first is we are now getting a spotlight collection uh, for the desktop backgrounds in Windows 11 in that dev channel build. Now, as many of you know, currently in the stable version of Windows uh, 11 and also in Windows 10, if you go to your settings, personalization, lock screen, you have a feature called Windows Spotlight, which you can enable to personalize your lock screen. And this just uh, pops a daily desktop photo um, in your lock screen. So when you log on every day, you see a fresh new uh, picture available from around the world on your lock screen. Now, as mentioned, this is uh, possibly coming to Windows 11 as Microsoft started testing this feature out um, yesterday, the 8th of December in the Dev Channel. And this new Spotlight collection now for desktop gives a new daily desktop uh, photo from around the world and along with information about that picture as well. And then to enable the feature, now I can't show you all the steps because I'm obviously still in the stable version, but um, I'm sure by the end of this video, you will get the general idea. And as mentioned, you can do this through settings, but the easiest way is to right click on your desktop, click on personalize, and then you go to background in Windows 11. And currently in the stable version, you have three options to personalize your background, slideshow, solid color, picture. And now you will have a fourth option in that dev build, which you click on, which will be called spotlight collection. And then once you click on that, it will pop the collection the first image from that collection onto your desktop background. And this is, this is very similar to the uh, Bing wallpaper, um, the app which you can download um, from Microsoft Online. It's basically doing the same thing and is also very similar to the image of the day uh, you get in Microsoft Edge, where you can find out some facts. You can like this background, I like it, not a fan, and so on. Now, if we just look at this image, which was taken from those release notes for build 22518. As you can see here, you have a couple of options with the spotlight collection. And like the lock screen, you can hover over the spotlight icon um, on the desktop to learn more about the picture. And you can right click on the spotlight icon to, sub to submit feedback or change the picture. So you have a couple of options here. As mentioned, this is very similar to the image of the day you get in Microsoft Edge. And that spotlight collection you would get um, in the lock screen currently in Windows 11 and also Windows 10. And now another feature um, which started rolling out yesterday in that build uh, 22518 is um, a new uh, widgets entry point on the left side of the taskbar with live weather, con uh, weather conditions and content now. Now currently in the stable version of Windows 11, you just get your widgets and there's no live weather information and content content showing on your desktop. Now, in that latest dev build, um, this now, um, if we just go to the next image, um, they have placed um, the widgets entry point now on the left of the taskbar as the default setting. And where you can see now, as you can see in this image taken from uh, those release notes, um, where you can see the live weather content. And this is very similar now to your news and interests feed found in Windows 10. So those are just two new little features which we possibly could get rolling out to a stable version of Windows 11 sometime next year in 2022. And if it doesn't roll out before the latter, the latter half of next year um, in that first feature update, I'm sure that we'll get some of these features currently being tested in the dev channel build rolling out as monthly updates um, using the Windows Feature Experience Experience Pack sometime next year in 2022. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.